Uh, but if you want to, so the other thing, I, I mean, I'm basically been playing a lot of Yakuza Seven, uh, uh, or like a dragon. It actually just got a patch today that I'm shocked because there was a feature in the game that was straight up bugged that I didn't know was even supposed to be there, which is weakness indicators for your moves, like in Persona or Octopath, where it tells you if you're using a, a cutting attack or a blunt attack or a fire attack, that the enemy will be weak to it. Uh, the English versions of the game did not have that until today. Weird. It was it, it was just a text display error where it, the, the icon wouldn't show up. So the game is actually even better now that game's incredible that game is incredible it's probably my favorite yakuza game with the maybe exception of zero like and it's a it, fresh start it, for the franchise so that's that's an awesome thing for it to be like super beloved and also like hey where is it going to go from here you know it, it is i hope it goes to more stories with Ichiban Kasuga because he is the best. Mm -hmm. He is a relentlessly positive, dumbass himbo who everyone tells him he is stupid. He goes, hell yeah, I'm stupid! Fuck you! And you're like, yeah. Yeah, I was... I, we, I mean, a I, bad I, I, way to live. I said it last week about, like, you know, liking the new thing, but uh, I also... I just remember when there was that point in time, there was a, there was a window where um, there was some anger at large about Nero being the protagonist of DMC4. I never felt that once, but I remember seeing it. I remember some tangible outrage at a new protagonist being there and at Dante not being there. And I remember just being like, what the fuck? Like, are you, is that, is that seriously it? It's just, no, this is not, this is, it's, it's, it's basically a little bit of that right all games. over again. It's the, it's the right and sitch, you know? And, uh, boy, boy, oh boy, was I pleasantly, pleasantly, um, um, surprised with how much I love Nero. I, I was like more than willing to give it a chance at the time. Uh, but when I ended up finding it, like, more fun, I'm like, yes, absolutely do the new thing, you know? But yeah, Raiden, I feel, the Raiden bait and switch on people might have sullied the gamers of 2008 against Nero. Yeah. Uh, I'm looking through the list, and Ichiban didn't have that feeling. Not even when he was revealed a long time ago. It was instead like trepidation. It was like, uh oh, maybe you know, uh oh, maybe he's not as going to be as fun as uh, as Kiryu. Um, but uh, the main character of Judgment softened that blow, and Kiryu's been the main character of like thirteen games, like mm -hmm. like when Yakuza Zero lets you play half the game as Majima. Mm -hmm. Holy shit! You're just like, <sighs> finally, mm. <laughs> right? So yeah, it was. It's very much time for a new, new character to to hold the series on his back. Okay, okay. Soul Caliber Five did not land, but I still respect the attempt. Personally, I, also respect it. I respect the attempt to move time forward and let a new generation of combat kids step in and represent where the franchise would could go. Uh, you know, it didn't land, but I respect it because I like I just said the combat kids are wonderful. The the new generation Street Fighters are wonderful. Like this is a thing. And on that the is, other hand, you know, it is a good thing in, in many instances. It's, it's funny because sometimes the new generation is great. I think the combat kids in MK10 were actually pretty cool. Fantastic. Like Fantastic. Um, other times... Even Kung Jin. Shut up. Other times, the new generation is Patroclus or Yunsung in tech uh, in tech and Christ, in soul caliber mm -hmm. in which all you can feel like is fuck go back mm -hmm. please and i'm really happy 
to have seen one of our news stories this week. Now, in direct response to that feeling. Now, I am not uh I'm not as upset at that roster again like I don't you know but the execution of like the story and the reasons and the things and overall like you have to make people love the new kids when you bring them out right it's not enough that the new kids show up you have to give us a reason to like them and that's what they failed to do um they did such a great job in Tekken 3 I was about to I was about to say Jin lest we forget Jin Kazama and Huarang, or how wrong, oh. represent the new kids in Tekken. Don't Kazuya forget might that. Be gone, but here is a way better version of Kazuya. Yeah. So, um, <laughs> shit's dope. 